I love what I do. I love working with older adults. I started with the veterans homes in Minnesota, the state veterans nursing homes. I moved to Denver, Colorado in 2002, and I was hired as the director of community relations for the veterans homes. However, my position changed. It was with the state, with human services, and they moved me then about a year and a half after I was with the Veterans Homes to Aging Services. And I had in Minnesota also worked for 10 years. I was a county commissioner in Minnesota. And so I sat on the Joint Powers Board for the Area Agencies on Aging, and I loved it. And so that's why the state decided I would best serve the aging population in aging services through the Department of Human Services. And so from there, I, I worked in senior employment. I worked with the Senior Community Service Employment Program as the state director and with the Area Agencies on Aging. And I started a program called Get Along Gadgets. I knew I loved my work with the veterans' homes, um, with the nursing homes, and I wanted to get back into not necessarily working in a nursing home, but assisted living. I got my administrator's license, and um, I, I met somebody that was a certified senior advisor and while I was working with the state. And she said, why don't you come to, some of, why don't you come to a meeting? And so I did, and I was just so excited about, number one, the people that I met and the connections, but also the information that was provided. I was just so amazed. I thought, as having worked um, from the 90s in aging services in Minnesota and Colorado, that I knew everything, and I didn't. And so for a whole year, I attended every month, on every single month, I attended a CSA meeting. It really helped my work in aging services and it also helped me working with Get Along Gadgets and talking to people and sharing what I had to offer with them. I truly am pleased that I took the opportunity to study and go through the CSA certification. I've learned so much in so many from so many different facets. But also the people, the people that I've met I personally believe that anyone that is a CSA has an older adult's best interest at heart. And there's such a diversity of occupations, of people in different occupations that become CSAs. I've met people that are realtors, I've met social workers, I've met just so many different pharmacists that have become certified senior advisors. Um, placement, people that work in placement. And now I have a collection of people that I can call upon that I know, that I actually know intimately because they're part of my, part of my group of senior advisors here in Denver and outside in different states. Being a CSA to me means integrity, that you care and that you have your whole heart in assisting older adults. That's what being a CSA means to me. It also means somebody that's educated on a variety of topics working with older adults. You learn so many different facets of opportunities to work with older adults as well as communicate with older adults and what's available to older adults. You really need to know your stuff in order to become a certified senior advisor. I'm proud to say that I am, and um, that's how I feel. <laughs>